I'm going to be doing a quick video on the cleaning and maintaining of a Sega type or AK style of firearm today. Um, I've had some people um, tell me that uh, the manuals and things that come with these are somewhat lacking. So I thought I'd just do a basic video. I just finished cleaning this. So uh, let's get started. Um, first off, let's just go ahead and do a safety check. Weapon is unsafe. It is not loaded. There is nothing in the chamber. It is unloaded. Um, first things first, go ahead and remove the dust cover from the rifle. Go ahead and remove the recoil spring. Alright, then go ahead and remove the bolt. The bolt for your assembly and gas piston. Um, set that aside. Go ahead and flip up the gas block retaining lever. And uh, it varies from rifle to rifle, but mine is extremely stiff. Uh, you should be able to see over the top. Uh, the block rotates. You'll be able to see when you are vertical, so you can remove the gas block. And again, my gas block. Uh, the gas tube is extremely stiff. Um, it's actually easier for me if I remove the hand guard before I remove the gas block. So now, unfortunately, you don't have great access to the barrel and chamber from the rear, um, but you do have enough. I generally can go ahead and put some... Uh, different people use different things. I use gross of ammo on this. I generally use boiling water and then follow it with uh, uh, C hops and then CLP. Um, get all of the corrosive salts out. Make sure everything is cleaned up and oiled. Um, put it down the barrel. Put it down the gas block. Make sure you wipe down all of the internals, the receiver, the trigger group, and everything. Um, and then go ahead and make sure you swab and scrub the barrel. Um, I like to use a 12 gauge bore brush, bore scrub on my gas block. It seems to fit pretty well. Gets all of the built up carbon out of it. And then I use uh, usually a rolled up paper towel uh, to just kind of squeegee everything out and get some oil in it. Um, just use a patch. 